Hello. This is a movie in which I show uh, a very simple transparency effect on a red box, which I performed using ImageJ and um, Virtual Dub free software. Now, these are both free packages which can be downloaded from the internet, and I thought it'd be nice to take you through how exactly I did it because it takes no more than 30 minutes. And um, if you're young and keen to understand about these things, it's a uh, ImageJ is a great tool for understanding basic filters and manipulation of images and video um, to create cool effects. Um, this second movie just shows my housemate holding a red blanket which I've made transparent using this effect. Okay, so first of all, you open your movie in Virtual Dub. In the Virtual Dub, you apply a 2 to 1 filter. Now, this just makes the output movie smaller and so easier to handle using ImageJ. And also, you also strip the audio from the AVI by collecting, clicking no audio. Um, ImageJ won't open the AVI file, the movie file, if it's still got the audio attached. But you can always add the audio later. So just going to save that file. Close the virtual dub software and open the same movie in ImageJ. Okay, so just going to open the movie. And then I'm going to, using the color RGB split command, I'm going to split that movie into its three component color channels red, green, and blue. Both of these are channels is a stack of images representing the movie in black and white. Um, if you, if I just sync these movies and show you the sleeping bag in each case, you'll see that the sleeping bag is far uh, less intense in the red channel than it is the um, blue and green. Um, whereas the rest of the movie, which is uh, the backdrop, which is, isn't so um, richly coloured, is pretty much the same in each movie. And essentially, essentially, this is because the sleeping bag was red, and um, there isn't much component from the blue or the green channel in in this final output. And this allows us to isolate um, the sleeping bag by the different intensity that it has in each of these three channels. So to do this, we invert the red channel and we also invert the blue channel. Um, this allows us to, to um, using the image calculator, to um, subtract the red channel from the blue channel. So image one, select the, the blue channel. And you use the sub subtract operator and select the red channel in image two. And you want to apply that to each image in the stack. And what that does is essentially um, gives you the difference of the two image channels. So most of the background is quite dark because there wasn't much difference, but the sleeping bag is quite bright, representing a, uh, a large intensity difference between these two movies. Now, because of this difference, we can apply a threshold to um, convert this movie into a threshold, um, a stack of threshold images. Um, which is very similar to a, a binary movie in that everything um, that's black is, is zero and everything that's white uh, is positive um, which in this case is um, pixel values of 255 intensity um, but essentially it's either no pixel or a bright pixel um, this sort of basic mask um, means we can manipulate with a high degree of accuracy our original movie um, so we apply the threshold and we um, save the, the movie as an AVI as we're going to use it later on. Um, we should probably spend some time playing around with the threshold to 
make sure you only isolate the sleeping bag and not the background and also vice versa you want to isolate the whole of the sleeping bag so best thing to do is just play with the threshold dialogue um, levels until you, you, you visually get a good effect okay so just completed saving that now I'm going to open the um, original movie now um, close those separate channels as they're no longer needed 